What instantly kills the vibe at a party? Someone putting the big light on. Someone took a shit in the sink at a house party of mine once. That was a buzz killer for sure. I was at a staff party with an open bar, and it reached the time when the first clusters of guests were leaving. When they went to get their coats from the closet, they discovered a young new team member who we thought had left hours ago. He had stripped off all his clothes, made a nest of jackets, soiled everything, and passed out. Killed the vibe for sure. Aggressive drunk s. When someone gets too drunk and starts arguing. An overdose. In college, when we wanted to wrap up the party at 2 or 3 a.m., play Dark Side of the Moon. Drops the energy, no one is being asked to leave, people are chill as they head out, no crazy disruptions for the neighbors. Not specifically the vibe killing that the rest of the posters are sharing, but similar. The crying girl that needs everyone to console her. Get out of the bathroom, there's a line forming. The two drunkest guys getting into a fight and then hearing one of their GFS start crying and screaming things like stop for me please, look at me this isn't you etc etc before she gets yeeted by being in the crossfire. Using the party for MLM sales opportunities. I was invited to a dinner party and only found out when I got there that it was a pitch for Amway. When I arrived, I was told there would be a short presentation prior to dinner. I said, no, thank you, and left. That one sad drunk who is loud as hell. Injuries. Watch me dive head first into the shallow end of the pool and break both my hands. Or. I'm going to do a keg stand and break my nose. Cops. A couple getting into a public argument. Shortage of drinks when everything is closed. When someone turns off the music and starts playing an acoustic guitar. When someone changes a song before the best part. I've done this and got my dumbass excommunicated. Rightfully. Someone trying to show off a weapon especially a gun, it's time to nope out. When people take over the TV to share YouTube videos. Four or five guys are assembly walking in that may or may not know the host. The dude who had too much. The person with a fresh breakup. When someone gets extremely wasted and too out of control starts to pick fights, has drunk fits, will sprawl on the ground, needs 100 supervision, has to be carried around. You just wanna chill and enjoy the party but you can't cause your stuck baby sitting them. When some moat brings out their guitar and starts playing without anyone having asked them to. Sorry, but you are not the center of attention you seem to want to be. Anybody whips out a crack meth pipe or syringes I'm out. Whipping out coke at a non-cocaine party. Fighting. Even if successfully kicked out, after a fight breaks out, the rest of the night is ruined and everyone is on edge, or the fight is the only remaining subject for the rest of the night. Don't fight at parties. Shooting their endangered owls with a champagne cork. Drunk doubt bags that are trying to get in every conversation but talking like a, uh, man, listen, that is all bullshit. What did you say again? Wait, where is my beer? Landing on your car keys when you try to do the splits. Pointing out someone's recent bad experience. Someone thought it would be a good idea to loudly ask a girl hey, I heard you failed your test so hard that you flunked out of your program, is that true? The scratched record noise. When someone dies. That one girl who shows up late with a bottle of expensive alcohol, finishes it herself within an hour, then needs to be escorted home by someone because she's too drunk to even form a coherent sentence. The one girl who thought her boyfriend would propose that night, and cries for the rest of the party. Why you'd want to be proposed to at a frat party is beyond me, but okay. I found a pair of underwear and an extremely large turd in my toilet once. I thought that someone had used the underwear to wipe however upon closer inspection, the turd was sitting perfectly on top of the pair of ginch. It's been 15 years and I still have no idea what happened. 
that jack-off that busts out his guitar that he brings with him everywhere, and thinks that everyone wants to hear him play guitar like his John Meyer or something. The couple that shows up with their kid. Strangest I've seen, a dorm party, drunk girl goes to her room, gets her Bible, and tries to start preaching at all of us. When it didn't go over well, here came the tears. Luckily some friendly types got her back to her room and tucked in. Dunno if they did some Bible study briefly or what, but they got it handled. An out-of-place Pineapple Express joke in front of your crush, accompanied by a panic look around to see if anyone got the joke. Wait that's just a repressed, but reoccurring memory. Someone pulls out a gun to show it to people. Why the F? Someone wanting to talk politics. IDK, really? Just this one time, I was at a party, and this hefty woman stopped the music, told a remember when story of some sort and forced everyone at the party to look at her dancing to Madonna Material Girl. That song is four minutes long, but I swear, it feels as long as my entire twenties. Why would she do that? Assert dominance? I still wonder. Ooh, I got this. Some drunk guy kept following me around a party asking me about something that was none of his business. I kept politely telling him it was none of his business. I got up and kept walking away and he kept following me around asking me about it. Apparently yelling at the top of my lungs it's none of your fucking business stops a party in its tracks. I mean he finally got the hint but it definitely ruins the vibe. Anyone who is off-handedly berating insulting taking digs at their romantic partner in front of everyone. Go to couples therapy already or break up. Quit bleeding your relationship issues out all over the damned place. We can tell you're unhappy, we get it. We don't want to be an unwilling third party to your drama. And if you're acting like an ass, we're going to call you an ass. It doesn't mean we're taking sides in the fight. One person being much more drunk than everyone else, or some show off putting a bunch of niche songs on that don't match the vibe of the room. When someone dips their chip, take a bite, and they dip again. Just dip your chip and end it. Food poisoning. Microwaving Carolina Reaper peppers. Someone being thirsty AF and not taking no for an answer. When I turn up. When someone actually sticks their dick in the mashed potatoes. They brought their fucking baby. No one wanted to be around them. The one dude that always gets out his guitar. Cops. Diarrhea in the hot tub. When you smell your armpits and have the sinking realization that you forgot to put on deodorant. A group of people showing up because they heard about it but weren't directly invited. Also in high school it was weird when kids more than two years after graduation would show up to parties. My shitty ex had a lot of insecurity about people talking over him and expressed it in the most annoying passive-aggressive way possible, which was closing his mouth and looking pointedly at each person talking until they stopped so he could speak with undivided attention. It was just as uncomfortable for everyone involved as it sounds. The sober person usually a chick, who wants to be judgmental and passive-aggressive to drunk people during a conversation. We're drunk and can barely formulate a coherent conversation let alone care to hear about how you don't drink, and your subtle shots trying to pass judgment. Stay your ass home. People on their phones. Never in the moment. Might as well stay home. If the hosts are a couple, and they get into a fight. An Irish person taking out a guitar. Saw some Irish, have seen many parties ruined by navel gazing, oasis song playing gobshites. Forcing everyone to play a game. Especially if the rules are really complicated. People being completely wasted or high to the point where they can no longer function. Inflationary pressure putting up local cocaine prices. Music stopping for any period of time 5 seconds. A puker. When Mimor has a heart attack.